Hey everyone, so in today's video I'm going to do a Q&A, um, I guess kind of like a little get to know me. I haven't done this one for myself. I think my second video was uh, pretty much an introduction of Elayer or maybe it might have been my first one and I just really did a quick little video recap and just some fun facts about her and here she comes, of course. So I'm going to, I looked up a couple of questions, just a couple, it's going to be a really quick video um, that a lot of people get asked for YouTube and just wrote down a few of them. Yeah. Yeah. So y'all going to see me looking down because I have them written down on notes. Yeah. My two mommy. Okay. So the first question would be would you like to be famous and I'm going to say no not really but hear me out because obviously I'm on YouTube and yes I would love for my channel to get big and be like YouTube famous but that's about it YouTube famous because I don't want um, to have I don't want to be bombarded by paparazzi and I don't want everybody in my life I don't want to be judged for every single little thing that I do that people judge Celebrities for I mean you can be judged as a celebrity just for not eating meat You can be judged for a uh, being famous for what you wear and how you look and I don't want to have to worry about that 24 7 and I feel like people who are like Celebrities and famous people they don't have a life to themselves They always have to be on guard and they can't relax truly because everybody wants everything from them and expects everything from them. you can't share your public opinion about anything well you can't share your personal opinion about anything and god forbid if you do then you get ostracized or you just get talked down about just like criticized for everything it's like oh just entertain it just entertain me you're not allowed to have an opinion and we're human beings we have opinions about everything it's just who we are and the fact that they get judged, you get judged for that, for being famous, it's just, it's too much. I have my opinions and I want to be able to share my opinions when the time comes. And if, I mean, I understand criticism, people aren't going to like what I say and fine with that. But to be judged so harshly like someone famous is, it's just, it's too much. So no, I would not like to be famous that way. Yes, I would love to be a popular YouTube person. YouTube tubeter youtuber yeah but nothing really big um, do you still have your childhood teddy bear so I had a childhood teddy bear I had my childhood teddy bear until I ended up homeless basically and going to Vegas so it was this little well it wasn't even little it was a pretty decent size um, cowboy dog slash bear it was a mixture of the two I called him Big Papa and he was my absolute favorite and I cried when I realized that I lost him when I went to Vegas and I don't know if I just left him at my cousin's house and just he got lost I'm not really sure what happened to him and I'm very sad because he was my absolute favorite and I wanted to keep him and give him to my first child so we would gone to Ilea but he went missing so no I don't still have him Favorite holiday, beach, mountain, or city? This is a hard one because I love, 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 love the beach. I've never been to a mountain and I would love to have, like, go to a cabin in the woods with, like, a lake. But I don't know if I want to be in the cabin in the woods because that's where the scary movies start you know black people don't do scary movies like that and I don't know if I can do that so as much as I would love to say the mountains with my beat with my cabin in the woods with the lake I don't know if I could do that so I might just go ahead and say beach because I love the water it's soothing it's calm I love to swim and it's so nice and pretty so yeah I'll say beach and then mountains i live in the city um, i live in dallas so there's nothing really there's nothing exciting about going to another city because i'm already in the city yeah do you have a tattoo yes i have five i believe i have one on my arm which i can show y'all right here yeah 
it says dream one way and then believe the other way with a little bird on it i have a matching tattoo with my best friend on our casts we'll get them on opposite calves and i have one on my lower back i have one in between my shoulder blades and then one on my side so the one that i have matching with my best friend it is a um, compass a dream catcher compass and it says sisters one way and then friends the other and then i have the one on my lower back which is a gun with some design like it's more than just a gun it's like a little fire gun um that with it's supposed to have the um what is it the breast cancer ribbon the pink ribbon on it and it says freedom is power now this was supposed to be a representation of me overcoming my fears and gaining the power of being fearless in a way and the pink ribbon was supposed to represent my grant uh, well obviously breast cancer survivors like and people who passed on my grandmother died uh, of cancer I had an aunt that passed away from cancer an uncle I passed away from cancer another uncle who has survived cancer twice and so I wanted to represent them in whatever way I could so that was my tattoo that was the story behind that tattoo and the tattoo in between my shoulder blades is a representation of my childhood best friend my cousin and my sister they were three women well the women now three girls women who impacted my life the most growing up it was also like my closest friends my confidants my everything yes yes now she's my everything and i will eventually get a tattoo that represents her yeah and mommy too yeah and mommy too yeah ah, okay and y'all, I'm sorry about this lighting. I'm realizing it's going in and out. And you know what? Let's see. Better. Okay. Hi. I'm a sister. You're not a sister. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay, um, perfect job or perfect relationship? First off, I know there's no such thing as perfect, but I would choose a perfect relationship because, I mean, who doesn't want the perfect relationship? But mainly because if I don't have a perfect, if I have a perfect job, then that's great and all, but what do I have when I come home? I'm not always gonna be at my job, but my job's not gonna keep me warm at night. My job's not gonna have my family. No. So I would rather have a perfect relationship in place. I can come home and complain about my job to my husband and that's, ex Stop. yeah. Stop. And that's Mommy, part Daddy. of the fun. My dad, mommy dad. And last question. Are you more artistic or mathematic? Now, being a YouTuber, you would expect me to say I am more artistic because I make videos and I create content and we do arts and crafts with the little ones. But no, I'm not artistic in any way, shape or form. I just like recording stuff and trying to make people laugh and having fun. And I feel like we should share that with the world. And we're gonna share that with the world by YouTube. Yeah. I am more mathematical. I am more numerical. I am very great at numbers. Um, I was always advanced in my math in school. And Adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, it all comes easy to me. Um, even long distance stuff. Long distance. <laughs> Numbers are just easier for me. Problems are easier for me. Maps, um, patterns, it just comes naturally for me. So, yeah, I'm more mathematical. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and end that here because obviously she wants to play. 
and she just loves being in the camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and log off. Thank you for clicking on this channel, on my channel, on this video. This is Vlogtober day eight, and I hope y'all enjoyed it. I'm gonna insert a clip of Ilea falling asleep to her favorite movie at the moment, which is Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll insert a clip of us having a lunch. Yeah? Yeah. And where she was just playing on the bitch just to give y'all a little something fun to watch at the end. Alright, give it a thumbs up if you haven't already. Subscribe. Every channel. Thanks to the channel. And bye. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. 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 <laughs> bye. bye. Put your shirt down. Put your shirt down. There you go.